Yo! What up, guys, and welcome back to another one. What's wrong, Frederick? You scared of the door or what, dude? Huh? Hey, you big boy! Oh, Bobby has been busy. Very, very, very busy. I was warning y'all, hey, we got this North Dakota trip coming up, and uh, we're about to get busy, y'all. Goose hunting, bringing the shirt back. Uh, the pigeon trapping y'all have been like Bobby you got to give us a pigeon update on the trapping and the loft I know we're getting there one by one y'all I had to get up all the North Dakota hunts back to back to back for y'all I didn't want to mix up the uploads I wanted to make sure that when we uploaded North Dakota we uploaded it all together you know what I'm saying and I hope you guys enjoyed it I really really hope you guys enjoyed the North Dakota trip but today uh, got a big 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 surprise, I finally get to show y'all. We got the trailer wrapped, and it's insanely awesome. I mean, BA. So, we're gonna wait to show y'all that, but I got something really, really, really special to show y'all. Yeah, this right here, I gotta show y'all this. This is pretty special. Pretty special what's in that box right there. But before we get started here, I do have to tell you that that round patch hat from Ducks, the one I've been wearing all the time, literally it's been my favorite hat, it goes up available today on the Ducks website. So if you guys want to pick it up, I will link it at the top of the description down below. All kinds of new products is available at DucksWaterfowl.com. Not only that, but if you guys are interested in being on the pro staff, we do have new pro staff opportunities. All you got to do is go down in the description, hit the Ducks Pro Staff link. It's really simple. You'll receive an email and you'll just go from there. But this here, pretty special deal. Uh, my buddy Bear Claw 7978. Uh, sorry, did not get your name, but I did get your son's name, Shannon. He is 11 years old. And his dad got a hold of me on Instagram. He DM'd me actually. And he was like, hey man, I got something to talk to you about. <laughs> and I was like, what's up? And, and he was like, my son, he's 11 years old. Me and him watch your videos religiously. He wants to send you a pigeon trap. And I'm like, you mean like a new pigeon trap? Like he was like, yeah, man. He wants to buy this one online. He picked out himself. He wants you to have it. He wants to buy it for you. And I'm like, man, those are expensive. I can't accept that. He was like, dude, he's been saving his chore money for like weeks. And he was like, I told him that I'd go in half with him. And uh, it really was pretty touching to me. Uh, when he told me the whole story, it's like, all right, I have to accept this bird trap, obviously, because it's special. I, I don't like handouts a lot of time. You know, you know what I mean? But let's check it out. I haven't even pulled it out of the box yet completely. Literally been so excited to open it. I've waited until I filmed it. Oh yeah, look at that. That is sweet. Wow. That's a nice one right there. Jeez, look at that, Fred. Wow, check that out. It's even got the sunshade on top. Removable sunshade you can take on and off. Man, that would have been nice to have in the beaten summertime. And then in here, let's see, it's got one swing door. So it's got six doors, and then it's got that automatic water in there. That's the, that is the latch, that swings open. Oh, I'm understanding it now. Then you open this up, and then you can put your water or your, oh, that's a water, okay. So that is the water. Fill that up with water, keeps water down in the trough. And then this here, I'm guessing, is where some food goes. And then they can stick their heads in here and get them a little bite. See what I mean? That's neat. That thing is a beast. Look how big it is. Now that, there boys, is a trap. Holy smokes. That's a big boy. That sunshade. Man, that would have been nice in the beaten, just screaming heat, you know what I mean? But I wanted to wait to open it until you guys were here with me. It's pretty special. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you so much, Shannon and Dad. But Shannon and Dad, thank you guys so, so much. That is, uh, I mean, that's more than necessary. I have to say thank you so, so much. Uh, fans like you guys, fans like all you guys that, that hit the notification bell, that always hit the thumbs up button that's always dropping positive comments down there 
those you guys are the people that I appreciate most. Uh, the ones that are truly here supporting me, supporting the channel, helping me bring you guys more videos. I know I say it all the time, I know it gets repetitive, but that right there, that means a bunch. Some little boy, Shannon actually, wanted to hook the channel up with his chore money. Seriously, man, uh, the channel has grown to something bigger than myself, and I can only say that I am proud to be part of it. Thank you all so much. So, I'm a little worried about the water being in there. I don't know if the birds will like it. Uh, a handful of videos back when I put the bowl of water in there, eh, we didn't catch any. And I was like, hmm, that might be because there's that structure, that bowl in there, and they're not liking it. So, I think what we're gonna do, we're gonna run it for a little bit. We're gonna see how they act, how they do. If we're not trapping them, if we're not having any success, We'll probably try to pull the water bowl and see if it helps. I think today we're going to go ahead and take the trap. We're going to go throw it on top of the rooftop downtown in the city. I haven't been up there since I got back from North Dakota before I left. I pulled the trap, propped it up against the wall so I couldn't trap any when I was gone because I wasn't going to be there to check it enough. So we got to go get everything set up. We're not going to have anything in the traps. We're not going to have any birds, live birds in the traps, but we got to get all this set up real quick. Let's go do it. Well, we're parked on the side of the road, and I'm sure you can barely see it out there. I'll try to crop it. See them right there, them birds? We've had uh, little feeds like this popping up. Local honkers, basically little 80, 60, 100 bird feeds. But this one in particular, the last week I have been seeing a big white bird out there. We've got the white gulls that are hanging around, but this bird's way bigger than a, uh, a gull. So it's like either it's a whooping crane or it's a snow goose. And finally today, I found them to where they're pretty close to the road. And it is in fact a snow goose. In fact, for certain now, it is a snow goose. Well, I'm using the binoculars and the camera. See that? See him right there? There he is. Right there, that is him. Isn't that wild? I'm surprised that actually worked with the old binoculars, but there you go. Proof in the pudding. I wasn't kidding. A snow goose. Just must have been hanging around from last season. Uh, you don't see many of them just around chilling in the summertime, but uh, never know. Could have mated with the Canada. Maybe they're mates now. Maybe we'll have some beautiful, beautiful mixed Canada slash snows flying around. How cool would that be? So while we're traveling here, that brings me to my next point is I've had a lot of you, a ton of you say, Bobby, please do a scouting video. I've done like four or five of them. If you guys want another scouting video, let me know, but I figured I'd just throw in some tips here and there. Uh, a lot of you have been asking Bobby, when is the best time to scout uh, ducks and geese during the daytime? And uh, usually in the morning, like right now, it's 8.54. Usually up until about 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock is going to be your time when birds are going to start getting off the fields, headed back to roost. You know where I'm going. And then in the afternoon, during the season, it gets dark a lot earlier. So during the season, about 4 o'clock. If you can get out at 4 o'clock, you're going to get ahead of them. Uh, probably before most of them lift off the roost, probably. Um, but even if you can get out by five, uh, you're gonna get it, be getting out towards the dusk, latter part of the evening, and uh, you'll be able to catch them there too. So, twice a day, morning, evening. Uh, sunrise is the best time to get out in the morning. You can get to the roost, you can wait for them to lift. So, I know I'm not gonna just take up the whole video time here talking about scouting and roosts and, and ducks and geese, but, that's my, uh, that's my spiel in a nutshell. Whew, I'm telling you what, those flight of stairs right there, like I've showed you before, they're no joke. Um, I went ahead and brought the uh, new trap up here. Check it out, I haven't got it set up at all. Waited to bring y'all up here. It's a handful trying to uh, get stuff up and down those stairs, but check this out. Here I have the 
old trap here. I set it up against the wall like I told you all while I was gone because I wasn't able to check it. And look at that. That's where all of the feed used to be. I left a huge pile here when I left. And I was like, just let them find it, let them eat it all up. And you can tell with all the bird poop, they cleaned it up. But check this out. I think I have the perfect area, the perfect idea to put our new trap at. Check this out. Look at these guys up here. So see this guy right here? They love perching up against this roof line here. Oh, wow. What the? They were sitting right here. <laughs> I need to start bringing a net with me. I'm serious. I didn't even know that they were sitting here. So we're going to put the new trap down here. I've been saying it for a while. Oh, look, look. Look at that. An egg. No way. No stinking way. Oh, it's kind of cracked. That's not good. Wow, what should I do with that egg? I wonder if I should take it home. Oh, look. I never noticed it. Check that out. Up underneath this AC unit, there is a ton of feces and trash and feed. And there's actually right there, there is an egg right there. I don't think I'm going to mess with this egg. I'm actually going to put this egg back under here. I have never noticed. I've never noticed that. I'll be darned. Well, it's a good sign. Not only do uh, pigeons like to feed and just roost down here, but they're also laying eggs and having babies underneath that AC. So. I think it's a perfect call. We are going to, we're gonna get the old trap there, sit up back where we had it. Then we're gonna take the new trap, sit her down yonder. I have a really good feeling when it gets cold, we are gonna be trapping a bunch of pigeons up here, y'all. I mean, a lot. But here we go, we're filling up our water. Our old pigeon water trough here. Putting two bottles of water in it. It should be plenty. We are going to rock it out. If I don't think it's working, if I think it's messing the birds up, I'll go ahead and pull it. I'm going to go ahead and put some feed right... Oh, that's a little much, Bob. Good job. Got it all in the water trough, you dummy. That's what I get for trying to hold a camera and do this at the same time. Alrighty, got her all done here. I put a little food in the center of these three doorways. Same thing over here. Three doorways, some food. This one will hold food quite a bit. Close her up. One thing I really like from up top, looking down, the black sunshade really blends in with the black rooftop. So when they're flying in and they're looking down, it shouldn't be as distractible. You know what I'm saying? It shouldn't distract them shouldn't catch their eye the trap you know what i'm saying so looks really really good the black sunshade actually hides the uh, water feeder quite a bit until you get next to it down here so we might have some luck with it we're just gonna have to try it out but this one's all the way at this end of the roof and then we got the other one down there again i have to give a huge thank you a huge shout out to shannon and his dad for hooking up the channel with the new pigeon trap. It's amazing, beautiful trap it is. If y'all are interested in sending something to, a, to the channel, I'm actually gonna go open up another PO box as we speak today actually. So, so be expecting on some of the next videos, I will uh, start putting my PO box number down in the description if y'all are wanting to send stuff. But we're gonna get off here. We're gonna let the old roof eat. Check her later, see if we have any luck. All right, all right, I know we had to get some stuff done today, but it is the moment y'all have been waiting for. Um, so, Ducks, man, the boys over at Ducks are like, Bob, you wanna get your trailer wrapped like we talked about last season? And I'm like, of course, boys, what are you thinking? And uh, they're like, go design it, go have it done. Ducks will pay for it. And I'm like, that's awesome. Like a dream come true type of deal, right? It's amazing. It looks incredible. Check this thing out. 
the lighting kind of sucks over here. And there's your boy all blown up, looking snazzy, blowing the old acrylic call. Check that out. How beautiful is that bad boy right there? Oh, oh, don't mind the shirt. It's about the trailer today, boys. <laughs> but look what they did here. A bunch of bird silhouettes in the background. Just so good looking. Woo! I'm going to I'm going to save that panel for last. It's one of my favorite favorite panels. Uh, but here's the back. Check it out. Absolutely gorgeous. Got old Storm Girl there. All the ducks logos in the background. Looking fabulous, right? Check this side out. Got a Canada goose up front. Again, got all the silhouettes, the bird silhouettes in the background. There's your boy standing out back. Pretty sweet, huh? I know. But this panel right here is my favorite. Check it out. Look at that, dude. Got old Fred just looking snazzy, isn't he? Beautiful, man. I'm, lo I, I'm absolutely in love with it. It came out perfect. The guys over at Innovative Graphics here in town, uh, they're like, we want to make it exactly how you want it. And they did. They made it exactly, exactly how I wanted it. We tweaked it a bunch. And uh, they let me do exactly what I wanted. And I'm telling you, it came out perfect. Big shout out to my buddy Bar Outdoors. Uh, Y'all know him. He hunts with me a lot. He took a lot of these photos. But um, absolutely amazing. I'm proud of it. It's a proud moment for me, you know what I'm saying? If you guys ever see old Frederick, the old trailer here, running down the road, you gotta wave. Honk, wave, say what's up. We're obviously extremely noticeable now, so if you see us, you know, you know it's me, you know what I'm saying? Plus we got this big old boy back here. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Between the uh, trailer, the Sherp, I have one more surprise for y'all, not on this video, but we got a duck boat coming on the way, y'all. The duck boat coming on the way. I don't want to spoil it all, don't want to tell you too much, but be expecting your boy getting a beautiful duck hunting boat. Should be this week. <sighs> but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know we kind of jumped all around the place with the pigeon trapping and getting everything set back up because I've been gone. I really hope you guys enjoy the trailer. It's going to be in darn near every single waterfowl hunting video this season. I cannot wait to get it out in the field, get some good pictures of it. It is beautiful. But like I said, this hat is available. Go down in the description below, go pick one up. And Ducks is doing a Labor Day sale. 15% off the entire site. So I will also link that down below in the description. Be sure to go pick something up today. I think it ends, what, Monday, I think, yeah? So be sure to go save yourself 15% on all of the new Ducks products we just put up on the site. Literally, we have all new everything. But thank you all for being here. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up for your boy. Like seriously, let's get this video over a thousand likes, please. It only takes, like I say, 0.02 seconds. Do it for your boy. But until next time, we will see y'all on the next one. Peace.